Okay, so in this problem we have a rectangular equation and we have to convert it to polar and then give a rough sketch. So solution. So the formula that we're going to use is r squared equals x squared plus y squared. This is one of the formulas uh, that is totally worth uh, knowing. So in this case here, this whole left-hand side is simply r squared. So we have r squared equal to 4. To solve for r, we simply take the square root of both sides. So square root, square root. This gives us r equals plus or minus 2. So we have two possible answers, r equals 2 or r equals negative 2. So either of these would be a perfectly okay and acceptable answer. So I like this one, so I'll go with r equals 2. Now we have to graph um, this equation. So recall that the equation of a circle is given by x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. h and k are the center, so here the center would be 0, 0. And r squared is 4, so r is just 2. So basically we have a circle centered at the origin of radius 2. So if you were to graph this, you would draw the y-axis, you would draw the x-axis, and then from the center, you would just go up by 2, down by 2, left by 2, and right by 2. So in this case, you just do 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Put a dot, put a dot, put a dot, put a dot, and then you just connect the dots. And that would be your circle. Okay, so another way to graph this is to use the polar equation r equals 2. This is really cool, so let me just attempt to explain it. So r is 2. So theta can be anything, right? Remember, uh, polar coordinates are given by uh, r theta. So theta is missing from this equation, so theta can be anything. So r is 2. So here's 2. So this is r. This is the endpoint of r right here, this green dot. Let me change the color. This yellow dot represents the point where theta is 0. But theta can vary, and r can be, and r is always 2. So as theta varies and r is 2, you get a full circle because theta can vary and r is fixed at 2. So it traces out a beautiful circle. That's why polar coordinates are nice, because circles can be represented by very simple equations. So for example, r equals 3 would be a circle centered at the origin of radius 3. r equals 7 would be a circle centered at the origin of radius 7. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.